I have confidence in you. Jesus, I have confidence in you. Anytime, any day, I have confidence in you. Jesus, I have confidence in you. Jesus, I have confidence in you. Anytime, any day, I have confidence in you. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. I praise the name of Jesus that has made you and I to witness the first day of the year 20. 19. I thank God for crossing us over. I thank God for making us to be alive, to witness a brand new day, to witness a brand new season of our life, to witness a brand new year. I tell you that this year is going to be glorious. This year, 2019, is going to be a year of fulfillment in your life, in my life, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank God for um, this opportunity to come before you again to share the word of God with you. The Lord has brought to me, um, has brought to my heart some topics that he would like me to share with you. The first one is going to be in two parts. The first one today is titled Who You Are in Christ Jesus. Who You Are in Christ Jesus. It's going to be a short video and the next one, the second one is going to be walking in Christ Jesus, walking in Christ Jesus. That's going to be another video and when I have a, um, the time, I'm going to do that as well. Like I said, it's going to be a short video. Again, my name is Esther Olaikadia. I'm your sister, your friend and um, a humble servant of the Most High God. Hallelujah. And as you know, Jesus Christ is my message. Jesus Christ is my message. Now, we are talking, we want to talk about who you are in Christ, your identity. I made a video initially talking about Christ, why we celebrate Christ at Christmas. Now, today, we're going to talk about who you are. In that video, <clears throat> I um, presented Jesus Christ to you and, you know, I encouraged you to give your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. I haven't given your life to Jesus. I want to tell you who you are in Christ. Now that you are in Christ, now that you have given your life to Jesus, who are you now? Who is this new creation? Amen. The Bible says, according to the book of John 1, 29, it said, behold, the lamp of God. Who has taken away the sins of the world? Jesus Christ is the lamp of God that has taken away the sin of the world. He took away your sin. He took away my sin. He, it, he was nailed on the cross. He shed his blood for us. He was, he, he was killed, buried, and then on the third day he rose up. And all powers belongs to him. In heaven, on earth, and underneath the earth. In the name of Jesus. So he is the lamp of God. He took away the sins of the world. No matter who you are. The whole world. The entirety of the world. Every human being in the world. I don't care what your religion is. I don't care what you believe in. Jesus Christ paid the price for you. He paid the price in full. The price of your salvation. The price for your eternal life. He paid it in full. All you need to do is accept him. Once you accept him as your Lord and your Savior, you, he begins to manifest his blessings upon your life. Hallelujah. So it's, 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 it's just like a father... <clears throat> <clears throat> that buys a gift for a child. A earthly father buys a gift for his child. Okay? And is giving the child a gift. Right in front of the child. He's standing in front of the child. He's telling the child, take this beautiful gift. It's a beautiful gift. This is the, a, a gift the child 
wanted is a gift the child needed, a gift that is important in that child's life. And is offering the child, but the child is putting her hands at the back and is saying, no, 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 um, no, I want the gift. No, I want the gift. He or she wants the gift, but she's not removing, he or she is not removing a hand from the back to stretch out and receive the gift from God. You need to receive the gift of Christ. You need to accept him into your life. He is knocking on the door of your heart. God gave the gift of his son to the whole world. It's for the whole world as long as you believe in him. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in the book of John 1, 12, chapter 1, verse 12, it says, as many as received him, then he gave the power to become the sons of God. Hallelujah. As many as received Jesus, he gave them power to become the sons of God. Jesus Christ is the son of God. And as I said, he is the son of God and God gave him to the world for him to die for the sins of human, for, for the for the sins of humanity, so that human beings can be restored back to God. Human beings can be redeemed back to God. He is the Son of God. But once you accept Him as your Lord and your Savior, you accept, you recognize, and you confess it, it with your mouth. You give your life to Him, and you transformed immediately. You also transformed as the Son of God. Like I said before, when I use the word son, according to, even in the Bible, when they use the word son or man, they're talking about both genders, the male and the female gender. So that is encompassing both genders. So we are the sons of God. The sons of God, the son of God, Jesus Christ, is seated in heavenly places. So we are seated in heavenly places. The son of God, Jesus Christ, is a heir of the kingdom. When I say hair, and hair is inheritance. When a father has so many properties or a mother has so many properties, the child that, that the mother or the father has inherits that property. The child is the heir of that property. It could be houses, cars, whatever it is. Likewise, God is, is, is sovereign in all the earth. And the Bible says that he created the world. He created the heavens and the earth. Jesus Christ is the heir to the kingdom. So once we accept Jesus as our Lord and our Savior, we also are heir to the kingdom. We are heirs to the kingdom. We are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are joint heirs of the kingdom. Joint heirs of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it wonderful that we are joint heirs? We are we are bona fide child of God, like Jesus Christ. Once you accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Amen. The Bible says in Philippians 2, verse 10 and 11, it says that God has given Jesus a name, which is above every other name. Amen. Which is above every other name. That in the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee in heaven, on earth, and underneath must bow. No matter what you are. No matter what you are. No matter how powerful you are. Be, be it a principality. Be it uh, 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 whatever. Whatever. All the powers of the world, all the demonic powers of the world, all the occultic powers of the world, all the divinities, whatever you may be, you must bow in the name of Jesus. And you must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So when Jesus Christ is in you, when you accept him as your Lord and your Savior, Jesus Christ is in you. He, his spirit resides in you and that makes you more than a conqueror. That makes you greater one. The greater one lives on the inside of you than he that is in the world. No matter what powers they may be, no matter what uh, 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 they call themselves. You are greater. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are a winner. You are a conqueror. You are untouchable. Hallelujah. You are great. Jesus Christ is in you the hope of glory. Hallelujah. So, 
he has given him the name that is above every other name. That in that name of Jesus, every name must bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord over your life. He is Lord over every situation that confronts you. Jesus Christ is Lord. That situation must bow to the name of Jesus. That problem must bow to the name of Jesus. That mountain must move in the name of Jesus. That valley must be leveled in the name of Jesus. That arrow flying at you must go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Because in him you have victory. In him is your power. In him you have abundance of life. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. That's what the word of God says. Hallelujah. So he is in you the hope of glory. His name is above every other name. When you speak that name, every knee must bow. When you pronounce that name to your situation, every knee must bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Both thing on earth and in heaven and underneath, they will confess. Amen. Also, I want you to know what Christ has done in your life. What he has done done and accomplished in your life that make you a conqueror for you to know who you are in Christ Jesus hallelujah Jesus Christ he said in the book of Isaiah 53 5 the book of Isaiah 53 5 he said but he was wounded for our transgressions all your transgressions all your mistakes Jesus Christ was wounded for it in exchange for your mistakes he got he took the pain he took the punishment the bible also says i'm reading Isaiah 53 5 he also says he was bruised for our iniquities our sins our mistakes what we did both knowingly or unknowingly the sins we committed by commission or by omission when they say commission sins you commit when they say by omission what you're supposed to do that you didn't do the right thing that you should do that you didn't do it could be you could should have helped somebody because you have the ability to help that person it could be that you could um um do something good you have the ability to do it but you didn't do it those are sins sins of omission every sin you have committed your past lives your past mistake they said the bible says he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisements of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed jesus christ provided all of this for you that is who you are now your your transgressions has been paid for your iniquities past ones has been paid for you by his stripes you are also healed. He gave you peace. He gave you joy. He gave you everything in replacement of your worries, your pain, your anguish, your sorrow, your everything. God, Jesus Christ came and relieved you of all of that and he replaced it with joy, peace, harmony, breakthroughs. He's also a restorer. He restored your soul. That means the soul that should have perished in hell, he, res he restored you back. So that you will not go to hell. And he gave you the opportunity to have eternal life. For your soul to, to, to not perish in hell. For you to live everlasting in Christ Jesus in heaven with him. Hallelujah. So he gave you eternal life. All that he did for you is by his stripes you are healed. All the stripes he was caned and beaten on uh, uh, as he was crucified it was for your sake for you to receive healing of anything that may be bothering you when you call the name of jesus to cancer to 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 um uh diseases to so name it when you call the name of jesus to that situation it will hear and it must obey hallelujah it will hear and it must obey Hallelujah. Your problem must obey Jesus because they can hear the name Jesus. Your situation must obey Jesus. Your sin must obey Jesus and part for you. A way must be created where you thought there is no way where you call the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He did all of that. He restored you. Where, whatever way that you feel um, that that you, you, you feel lost, he restores you back. Do you feel empty in you? Jesus Christ fills you back up. Do you feel as if you you, they, they, you can you are irredeemable? Yes, you are a candidate for Jesus. He can redeem you. He is the only one that can do it. Do you feel a situation is a is is a forgotten issue, is a lost issue, and can never be resolved? 
that is where Jesus Christ steps in. He is a restorer. He restores you. He restores everything that pertains unto you. Your health, your marriage, your children back to you, your everything, your job, your finances. He restores you. He is a restorer. Once you believe in him, once you give your life to him, and once you pronounce the name of Jesus to that situation, hallelujah. I want to tell you, my brothers and my sisters, that Jesus Christ do all these things and even much more. Amen? Jesus Christ gave us dominion. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians 1, 19-21, He gave us dominion over all powers of darkness. That is another thing Jesus Christ has done for you. Who you are, you have authority. You have power over the forces of darkness. You have power to command. You can command them Every force is rising up against you. Every agent of darkness, every demonic agent on heaven concerning against you, against your family, you can command them and command them to perish. He gave you power. He gave you dominion over it to speak the word. The word you speak out is spirit and is life. It will not come back to you void. It must achieve that which you have set it out to do in the name of Jesus. Because it's the same word God used to create heaven and earth. He has given us the power of the word to speak it to your situation and it must achieve that which you have sent it out to do hallelujah so brethren i want to tell you that jesus christ is lord over every situation believe in him the bible says in matthew 18 18 he says verily i say unto you whatsoever you bind here on earth is bound in heaven and whatsoever you lose on earth is losing heaven as again matthew 18 18 what you bind on earth is bound in heaven what you lose on earth is loosed in heaven all you need to do is speak it out speak out the word tell that monday to move bind all the age workers of iniquity all the workers of darkness against your life bind them command them to be bound destroy the works of the enemy rain fire brand brimstone upon them speak the word of authority once you pronounce the name of jesus it comes with power it comes with authority and it must move into that the bible says that the name of jesus is above all names and the word of god <coughs> excuse me is spirit and it's life. Once you speak it, it will go and pierce asunder even the flesh from the marrow. It will go and it will not come back to your void. It must achieve that which you have sent it out to do. Hallelujah. So I want you to know who you are in Christ. The authority you have in Christ as a new creator, as a new being. Hallelujah. And I decree, I declare unto you that as you have crossed over into 2019, you have crossed over into your greatness. You have crossed over into your increase, into your abundance, into your multiplied blessings in the name of Jesus. You have crossed over into your next season of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. In this year, 2019, you will fly high. And so high as an eagle, you will accomplish, you will subdue, you will take dominion in the name of Jesus. Whatever you lay your hands upon to do in this year 2019, it must prosper in the name of Jesus. Every of your desire, God will meet them. He will shower you with blessings. He will embarrass you with his blessings in the name of Jesus. I say unto you, my brothers and my sister, that you should go forth in the power of God in the name of Jesus and begin to do exploits for the Lord. You are a new creature. You are a winner. You are unstoppable. You carry the power of God in you. Christ is in you the hope of glory. I tell you, my brother, that in this year 2019 it shall be the best year you have ever experienced on earth more than any other years you have spent this will be your best year so far 2019 in the name of jesus so shall it be thank you in jesus mighty name i pray thank you beloved for listening thank you for watching this video i will be coming back to you again with more word the second part of it in jesus name Amen. Thank you.